morning everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my june wrap up i will say i made a june tbr that i'll link up here did not stick with it at all so i'm so sorry which is really sad because i was in the middle of a court of sky and breath and i just kind of stopped because i got my kindle um, it's been great, but it's also been a problem. So if you're looking for like similar books to what I talked about in that, you're not going to get them. But anyways, we're going to be talking about all the books that I read in the month of June. We're pulling up the iPad so I can look on my Goodreads. First book I read was Scarred by Emily McIntyre. I read this um, on my Kindle. Again, a lot of these books are going to be Kindle Unlimited books, so I'll just have the image here. But um, this is the second book in the Never After series. I read the first book, Hooked. I actually own the first book and I pretty, I enjoyed it. It's kind of a retelling but not actually a retelling. It just takes from already pre-existing um, fairy tales, I guess. So Scarred is based off of The Lion King. It's not even like, it just has similarities. I don't know how to really explain it. There's just like, yeah, similarities. I don't know. It's super dark. It's a lot. Um, I rated it three stars. The spice is phenomenal. Um, if you're not into dark romances, you're probably not going to like this series, so stay away from it. But I did read that, and along with that, I actually read Wretched, which is the third book. And this one is a retelling of The Wizard of Oz. I say, I think out of all of the four that I've read, this is probably my, my least favorite. I just didn't really like it that much, but it was still good. It was like, again, it's just a super dark, like, retelling of sorts um but yeah this one was a wizard of oz um rated at three stars all of these are three stars and to complete the um uh series i actually read twisted which is an aladdin jasmine it's jasmine and jafar but like retold of course um and i again rated this three stars i am excited for the fifth book i believe it is about oh my gosh i feel like i knew who it was about and now i'm forgetting which book of notre dame so that'll be what the fifth book is about and that doesn't come out until august i think or later this year yeah those were the first three books like i said three stars very very easy to get through dark smut is good um so take that into consideration and for some reason i was in like such a dark mood because i have been really wanting to read haunting adeline and hunting adeline i've seen a lot about them i knew that they were like dark dark romance i never read a cat and mouse um series so i went ahead and read this and oh my gosh it was probably the darkest book i've ever read it reminded me of denim vipers but denim vipers is the only book i have ever dnf'd hunting and haunting adeline i wanted to continue reading like i couldn't put it down where denim vipers like i couldn't pick it back up if you can understand that but yeah this is definitely two very dark books please look up the trigger warnings um like absolutely like you need to read it read the trigger warnings before you pick these books up um i rated them again i think I, yeah i rated both of them three stars because like i said i just kind of stopped reading it the spicy scenes were really good <laughs> but oh my gosh is the content so dark probably like i said the darkest thing that i have ever read next i read the entire chestnut spring series all four published books so the first one was flawless this one all of them five stars flawless is about kind of like a babysitter trope i don't really know but then the second one's also babysitter trope but it's single dad and i usually don't like single dad um but it was good also heartless and reckless both have an accidental pregnancy slash secret pregnancy you know so what uh, and i have always said that like accidental pregnancy um i never really heard of secret pregnancy but that is in the um la last book reckless that just came out in june i i just like don't like it it's not my favorite but oh my gosh elsie silver silver did them so well i was shocked by how well she did them all of those are five stars i can't wait for the fifth and final book to come out last one is hopeless so i'm very excited to go ahead and read that because chestnut springs was just a fantastic world to be in and i can't wait to jump back last book i actually read in june was a court of thorns and roses i'm currently rereading akatar i always tend to get like in a rereading mood and i think that has to do with i want to read house of sky and breath but i just can't get into it so i'm thinking i'll probably read a court of thorns and roses Court of Mist and Fury. I'll, I'll probably reread the entire series and then I'll jump back into it, hopefully, fingers crossed, before January um, because I just want to have read that book before the third book comes out. But yeah, those are all the books that I read in the month of June. Total of 10 books, so it was pretty good. My Kindle definitely helped a lot. I will say having the Kindle is amazing, but it is taking away from my physical TBR that I was planning on reading this summer 
yeah that is going to be the end of this video let me know what you guys read this month what you're planning on reading in july and i will talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys